Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I am going to show you how to create an AP group uh, in Cisco Wireless LAN controller. When we talk about WLANs uh, in Cisco Wireless LAN controller, we can support up to 512 WLANs, but as you know, we can support only 16 SSIDs on a radio. So when you uh, split your radio into uh, multiple WLANs, uh, each, uh, each uh, AP can support 16 WLANs or SSIDs on one radio. So that's the maximum you can uh, support on the AP side. So you have to uh, have some mechanism to group your APs based on your location and that will allow you to uh, manage your APs based on the location with the specific uh, uh, WLANs and APs based on that. So for an example, uh, as you can see here, we can choose WLAN and you can see it can support up to 512 WLANs. I already covered how to create a WLAN, different type of WLANs in a different video. Um, here I will uh, stick with AP groups. So basically controller will allow you to create 512 WLANs and from this 512 WLANs how to manage your SSIDs with your AP based on location that you have to use AP groups to do that method so let me go to ap groups and show you what are the options available on ap group by default there will be a group called default group and all the aps coming on your wlc will be directly mapped to default group the first time so if you want to customize that you have to start creating your own ap groups and map the aps inside that so access point group is the one that can help you to categorize your uh, networks and your customize your APs based on the location. So let me uh, add one AP group here. So here you can give any any name. Um, spaces are not allowed. Um, so if I give space one, it will not uh, allow you to add it. So AP group name should not have any spaces inside that. So let me remove this, then click on add. So now AP group got added. Now we have to start doing that customization based on your site. So remote site or your local site can be go through this uh, AP group. So uh, the first page is coming with general tab. We have multiple tabs. I'll uh, cover that in short time. So uh, first tab is for general uh, general things. Other than AP group name, you can change anything here. The NES ID, you can customize that and whatever AP is getting added into this particular AP group, it will be overridden with this NES ID uh, configuration. Then uh, Q in Q, so if you want to do double tagging and if you want to customize that double tagging, you can use these three options uh, for uh, customizing it, DSCP uh, server, then VLAN ID. So these three things are for supporting that Q in Q feature. Then uh, CAPA preferred method, you can choose uh, what is the CAPA preferred method for the APs participating in this access point group. It can be IP version 4 or 6. Then uh, next tab is WLAN. Inside this WLAN, by default, none of the WLANs will be participating in this one. And you can click add new here, then you can choose what is the WLAN, you have to add it here. So other than guest LAN, uh, guest wired access LANs, you can choose any WLAN SSIDs to add it into this list. So let me add WLAN 1 here. The next one is the interface or interface group. You can select what is the interface you want to use it for that and it will be overridden uh, from the WLAN configuration. Then you can choose uh, uh, adding SNMP next state or not. Then click add. It will add your uh, WLAN under uh, your AP group. So whatever AP is participating in this group will start broadcasting this SSID and if you want to add multiple SSIDs like um, any any SSID from that list so let me uh, create one uh, SSID WLAN 512 so I added uh, WLAN 512 then going back to AP group and I can add 512 from the list. So uh, 
click add so now you can see WLAN is created here uh, first WLAN is taken then second one is uh, 512 so irrespective of your WLAN IDs you can choose any 16 from that list and you can uh, use that inside the uh, inside the AP group then next one is uh, RF profile so I already covered this one in a different video what is RF profile how to apply that RF profile inside this AP group so basically based on your location your AP type and uh, you have some specific criteria to uh, follow in that particular site or something like that any any customization on the RF side you can choose you can create an RF profile you can see how to create that RF profile in a different video but if you have an RF profile you can map that here in the radio side so that it will your APs participating in this group will be behaving based on the RF profile uh, method. So here we have some default ones so high density, low client density, typical client density so you can choose the default ones from here then uh, V radio, low client density so you can choose the basic stuffs, basic RF profiles from here but if you want to customize it, for an example, you have different AP groups uh, with different AP models. Uh, for an example, you have 3500, 3600, 3700 and 3800. So in that case, you can create an RF profile based on 3500 and another RF profile based on 3800. Then you can choose that profile inside your AP group so that this AP group APs will behave based on your RF profile configured for that particular AP model. So as you can uh, see the different RF patterns and the supported power levels on data sheets, you can go through the data sheets of these APs and you can see that these this data sheets have different, uh, different kind of uh, radio patterns and all for uh, some of the APs. So based on that, you can choose your RF profile and that can be applied here. And this particular AP group will take care of your hardware uh, capabilities based on that. Uh, RF profile so it's really helpful feature because otherwise if you are not customizing it by default it will be taking the RF configuration from your radio side and that will be uh, the one applied to throughout your AP so if you have a lot of APs and a mix of AP models we recommend to use this uh, uh, this RF profile method so that it can behave in a proper way next one is uh, APs. So basically, this is uh, this is the page allow you to add the AP. So for an example, in this particular uh, site, so it's a remote site. Just imagine it's a remote site, and I'm going to choose only these four uh, APs into my system, uh, into my group. So just select uh, only those APs. What do you want to add it into this list? Then click on Add APs, and this will add the APs, but this one will uh, force APs to go down and join back into the system, uh, into the controller. So I clicked on it, but it's going to take some time because APs uh, change the AP group. By default, it's participating in a default group, right? So it's getting changed. So group name is getting changed. So it need a uh, rediscovery and join back to the controller. Then only those APs will start reflecting here. So I selected four of them. I clicked on add APs, it triggered that uh, cap up reset and it's going to come back onto your system after some time. Uh, let's go to next tabs uh, until this APs comes back into your group. Uh, Loving you, so uh, wherever you are planning to give hotspot related configurations, you can uh, use uh, this particular tab to set that values. So here you can select uh, any venue group and when you type based on that and you can add that new venue and all those things so uh, anything related to uh, hotspot will come under this particular tab then location track uh, location uh, tracking so if you are using hyperlocation this is the tab you can customize the hyperlocation configuration on the uh, ap side then next one is uh, ports and modules so if you are using uh, external modules on uh, any modular ap's so that part will be taken care by this particular page. So let me uh, go back to uh, wireless and see those APs are back or not. So let me let me see that. OK, 
okay so those uh, apis are still uh, reloading in background so it will come back and join back to this uh, ap group so let's wait for uh, some more time to get our apis back into this system once these apis are uh, back and once it's connected to this uh, group you can see those apis reflecting here and it will uh, it will start uh, behaving based on the configuration on this let's this taking time to come back on okay one of the ap is joined back now let's see the ap group let's see is it reflecting in our system or not okay so as you can see here this particular ap gone gone out from uh, default group and join in this group so now onwards it will be start behaving based on the configuration given here so this particular ap will be broadcasting only two ssids when uh, when we are talking about default group it will be uh, it, it will be broadcasting the first 16 first 16 wlans but in this case this ap this particular ap is going to give only two ssids that will be a wlan id 1 and wlan id 512 so this is how uh, you use uh, ap groups and this is how you can customize your sites or customize your radio uh, on the ap side and uh, how to uh, how to control that particular site based on the hardware type and anything whatever you required for a site can be done using this ap group so i uh, hope this one will help you to uh, choose right ap group right ap uh, models and uh, customize it based on your site hope this one will help you uh, in configuring it thank you thank you for watching uh, as i said uh, i covered that uh, rf profiling in a different video you can watch that uh, to get more information on rf uh, rf uh, profile thank you for watching